One of Media Composer's real strengths is the variety of stuff it can output to, as well as the ease for that exporting. To start with that, we're going to take a look at the concept of send to choices here. I want to make sure I have a sequence selected in a bin. I'm going to go up to the file menu. I have the ability to export or use the send to. In this case, we're going to send some material over for encoding to Sorensen Squeeze. I highly recommend that you duplicate your sequences. Command D. I'm going to go ahead and call this Smith for Squeeze. You should, of course, put them in an outputs bin and name these things directly. The length, I believe, is limited to 28 characters. I might be wrong on that. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I don't want this whole timeline to go over. I would like it just to go from this spot to the end. So I'm just going to go ahead and put an endpoint here. So we're just going to take that back half the timeline and use that. And with the timeline window selected or the sequence or multiple sequences or multiple clips, I'm going to do send to encoding and use one of Avid's send to commands for Sorensen Squeeze. When I do this, I can do make some customizations. This is a template. Any adjustments I make, if I choose to, I can save it as a template. It's going to open up Sorensen Squeeze and use some specific QuickTime reference settings. Let's uh, take a look at those settings here. I'm going to press on the Options button, and I can adjust. These are the actual export settings in Media Composer. The default isn't set to use marks. It is set to, by default, to digital mastering, and digital mastering as opposed to fast draft will really make sure everything is flattened, all your spaces are filled with black, it'll render all your video effects if they're not rendered, and it'll mix down your audio. Basically, it's a preset to have everything right for a digital master, but as a QuickTime reference referencing your existing material. I'm going to tell it to use marks, which is going to use the in and out on the timeline. I'll hit save. Again, I have the idea if I'm going to do this repetitively to save it as a template. I can choose where to put it. Notice that I've built a destination already on my desktop called exported items. I normally will put this on a media drive. Last, and it's up to you whether or not you want it to auto launch your application of choice. You can add other applications here if you build your own templates, but I'm going to have it auto launch squeeze and auto load these exported files. I'm going to say OK and the fireworks are going to happen. First off, it's going to do a QuickTime reference export. It's a very, very tiny set of files. Boom, it opens up Sorensen Squeeze. It loads my media inside of Squeeze for me at the start. So all I need to do is pick my Squeeze presets and hit encode. This is a really beautiful, quick way, for example, to make your DVDs using elementary streams here inside of Squeeze. And the beauty of these send tos is they can be configured to work with other software. You can see the rest of the send tos here are already pre-built to work with DVD encoding. If you want to build your own DVD app to send it to, such as Encore or DVD Studio Pro or iDVD, it just builds a QuickTime reference that you can drop anywhere. You can also send stuff to Pro Tools this way. You can send stuff to Pro Tools across Unity. So these send tos are probably the, your first base of really easy pushing things along your pipeline.